Hi, Brent Hall with The Build Show. Uh, on a field trip in Chicago, had to come see some Frank Lloyd Wright looking places. Um, this is one that looks a lot like him, right? This is the Roby House, a very famous Frank Lloyd Wright house uh, built in 1910. Okay, this is kind of what the prairie style uh, is, right? This is kind of the def definitive prairie style house. Uh, but what makes it that? Why is this house so important architecturally? We're going to look at some of the features and some of the cool things that Frank Lloyd, Frank Lloyd Wright did in 1910, which is really pretty early uh, for some of the innovations he did. Uh, one of the first ones being a garage, right? So we're going to explore some fun features about this house. And uh, come on, follow me. So one of the features that was innovative, 1910, uh, is a garage, right? So this is the, the car pass through right here going into a garage. Roby, one of the early owners of the house, actually owned a car, and so he asked Wright to design a garage into the design of the house. You notice the high wall here. Uh, we're going to get into the privacy issue that, that Frank Lloyd Wright did, and you'll see these built up areas, courtyards, a lot of different things. The front door, it's funky. You won't believe where it is. So, a lot of cool things. First innovation, the garage, 1910. So one of the features that makes this the prairie style is this long horizontal nature of the house, right? That they were uh, influenced by this, by the open prairie, by these horizontal lines, deep overhangs. Frank Miller Wright spent time and, and, and purposefully designed this thing so that it would look long and linear. One of the things he did was he actually designed these bricks. First of all, it's a Roman brick, but that means it's a long, thin brick, about an inch and a half by about 12 or 14 inches long. Second of all, you'll notice that the mortar lines, okay, are, are raked in this in this kind of light colored mortar uh, in the horizontal, and in the middle on the on the vertical part, he has actually darkened these mortar lines so that you really only see this long horizontal line. That, along with the dark lines of the gutter, the uh, the limestone going across there, really accentuates this really long nature of this house, which was kind of you know his signature on this house. One other fun thing. You'll notice there's gutters, but there's no downspouts. And what, what Wright did was, it was really pretty cool, was that he would create drains in the ground. We'll look at some on the other side, but he'd create drains in the ground. So there's no gutters that have to run back to the house because these overhangs are so big, right? To run a gutter back would, would screw up the lines of the house. So we're gonna see these gutters in the ground or these you know uh, drains in the ground that were meant to catch the water coming off the house. Here's that drain I was talking about. Gutter up above, drain in the ground, no downspout. Pretty cool feature. So the house is pretty narrow, right? It's about 60 feet wide, 180 feet long. This is the front pathway to the front door, right? Notice how far back and tucked away it is. That was a pretty typical right feature where you hid the front door so you felt protected when you came to the house. Let's go back and look at it. So here's kind of the intimate nature of the house, right? We, we can look real much closer at the brick here. You see that uh, dark mortar line on the vertical, wide uh, mortar line on the horizontal, right? You just get back and you can start to see the art glass, right? You see the, the, the pretty art glass and the design of that thing. See these horizontal lines again. And look at that front door, right? Tucked away back there. Notice how low that ceiling is, right? The ceiling, I could nearly bump my head, right? So, right, you're probably seven feet, right? That was one of the things that Wright did so that when you came out of this space, it'd be much more dramatic. And so, kind of the fun things did. Look how quaint and cute and inviting this little, this little porch is on the front porch. And you go up to the front and it's kind of cozy up there. Um, Wright was great at creating wonderful spaces, at creating cozy spaces and places you wanted to just, you know, you felt comfortable in. We're gonna go inside, we can't talk, but I'm gonna walk you through some of the spaces. A very low entry, uh, you saw, saw how short that ceiling was when I was walking in. It's the same on that lower level. And then you walk up this staircase and then you're in these grand spaces. Some of the in, influential things Wright did on the inside. Um, one, there's no doors, right? It's an open floor plan. It's kind of one of the first open floor plan houses, right? And you think about the ranch period and the things that come later. Remember, this is 1910. So by the 50s and 60s, that open floor plan begins to, you know, be seen in architecture. So this is very early for that. Uh, the way he used lighting, the amount of the amount of art glass, the way he incorporated different design elements. Um, they were talking about the lights in there. 
that it was really important that it took them a number of times to recast these lights so that the light shined off the wall had this kind of fern look and you'll see that inside um, the furniture that he built in there right was a designer who wanted to do everything right he wanted to design the house he wanted to design the furniture and there's a story of him he even designing the dress the lady was supposed to wear on the, the opening party of the house so uh, incredibly, you know, involved designer in the process, but wonderful, neat things. You'll see a beautiful dining room uh, with these posts that come up through the thing with lights and the plants would have been inside those things. Again, echoing what was going on in the house. You'll see this wonderful, be beautiful cantilevered house. We have these deep cantilevers on this house that stick out, uh, you know, 12, 14, 18 feet. He did that all with steel construction. So again, 1910 uh, steel construction and residential architecture is pretty crazy again innovative house you really not really need to come visit it i'm brent hall the build show see you next time